Hello and welcome back. Now that we finish with the entire alphabet and all the pronunciations of all the letters, we're going to move on to the verb to be. In Spanish, ser, estar. Ser, estar. Now, before we dive in into the verb, we are going to learn the pronouns. Pronombres. Let's begin with the singular pronouns. Pronombres singulares. Yo. Yo. I. Tú. Tú. You. Notice the accent mark. To be a pronoun, this specific word has to have the accent mark. Now, there are certain countries mainly in South America, they use the pronoun vos. Vos. It is also you. It means you. Okay? It is good to know both pronouns. So you can use both in case you're traveling. Let's keep going. El. El. He. Same thing here. We have a, a word with an accent mark. In order for this specific word to be a pronoun, it has to have that accent mark. Ella. Ella. She. Let's move on to the plural pronouns. Pronombres plurales. Nosotros. Nosotros. Or, for female, Nosotras, nosotras, we, ustedes, ustedes, you. Now, in Spain, they use vosotros, vosotros, or vosotras, vosotras, for female. Again, it is good to know both uh, pronouns but they both mean you. Ellos, ellos, or for females, ellas, ellas, they. Now that we know the pronouns, let's jump in into the verb to be. Now in Spanish, the verb to be um, is divided into two. Ser, estar. And uh, it is used in different categories. So I will go over each one so you know exactly when to use it. Let's begin with ser. Ser. Now, as you know, we conjugate verbs in Spanish. So when uh, we conjugate the verbs, we are going to apply it to differently to every pronoun. Let's go through it. Yo soy, yo soy, I am, tú eres, tú eres, you are, remember, vos, vos sos, vos sos, you are, él es, él es, he is. Ella es. Ella es. She is. Nosotros o nosotras somos. Nosotros o nosotras somos. We are. Ustedes son. Ustedes son. You are. Remember in Spain, vosotros sois, vosotros sois, you are. Ellos o ellas son, ellos o ellas son, they are. Now, when do we use this uh, verb ser? These are the categories. We use it for description, 
Yo soy alta. I am tall. We can also use it for occupation. Tú eres maestra. You are a teacher. We can also use it for characteristic. Él es amable. Él es amable. He is kind. We can use it for origin. Yo soy Argentina. Yo soy Argentina. I am Argentinian. Lastly, we can use it for relationship. Ella es la hermana. Ella es la hermana. She is the sister. Those are the categories when you use ser and the conjugation that I we just went over. Let's move on to estar. When do we use it and how we use it? With the pronouns. Yo estoy. Yo estoy. I am. Tú estás. Tú estás. You are. Vos estás. Vos estás. You are. Él está. Él está. He is. Ella está. Ella está. She is. Nosotros o nosotras estamos. We are. Ustedes están. Ustedes están. You are. Vosotros estáis. Vosotros estáis. You are. Ellos o ellas están. Ellos o ellas están. They are. Now, when do we use estar? Let's look at the categories. Position. Yo estoy parada. Yo estoy parada. I am standing. We can also use it for location. Él está en la casa. Él está en la casa. He is in the house. We can use it for action. Nosotros estamos enseñando. Nosotros estamos enseñando. We are teaching. The next category would be condition. Ellas están cansadas. Ellas están cansadas. They are tired. Lastly, we can use it for emotion. Yo estoy feliz. Yo estoy feliz. I am happy. I am happy. I know this is a lot of information and it might be overwhelming. But remember, languages take time and practice. So you can review the video and practice. The more you use it, the more you are going to acquire it. Now, before we go, remember, you have to take your exit ticket. You will have three seconds. First three exercises, what is the pronoun? Last three exercises, what is the right verb to be? Ella. Ella está parada. Él. Él es doctor. Ellas. Ellas son maestras. Now find the right verb. Estamos. Nosotros estamos en la casa. Son. 
Ellos son maestros. Estás. Tú estás leyendo. Again, I know that it was a lot of information. But remember, just rewatch it and keep practicing. And we will become fluent. I hope to see you in the next lesson.